If you're like me and probably millions of other GTA fans around the world, you're all wanting to see the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. And I don't know if we're going to be getting it this year or in 2023, which is what we'll actually be talking about in this video today. But I just remember where I was when I saw pretty much all the Rockstar Games trailers for the first time. And it's just a really cool and special moment. And obviously on February 4th this year, Rockstar essentially confirmed that the next installment in the GTA series, its development was well underway. We know that's GTA 6. And since then, a lot of fans have been wanting more information, screenshots, details, and most importantly, probably a trailer. And one of the most reputable guys in the video game world, Jason Schreer, before any of this ended up happening, wrote stories about Grand Theft Auto 6 being in development, that it was going to be Rockstar's next game. He even predicted when we might see a trailer and such like that. Well, there was some conversation going on on social media the other day. It started with a user, Videotech, who said, there's nothing really coming up with Rockstar Games in 2022, except some DLC for GTA Online and maybe a trailer for GTA 6. A new Red Dead Redemption 2 release would certainly make big sales if they're including new frame rate enhancements, extra content for Red Dead Online, and story mode, and the editor. And then Kyle chiming in saying, there ain't a GTA 6 trailer coming this year, with a third individual, Clementine HS, also tagging Jason Schreer saying, Jason Schreer expects the trailer that mentions fall 2023 release this fall, then it will slip to 2024. And he ended up responding to this entire thing saying, nah, that was a random guess. I don't expect anything. Oh no. So it kind of looks like this is some bad news for the trailer. And I certainly hope this isn't the case. I was hoping Rockstar would kind of go a little bit rapid fire here where they would make the initial announcement and then maybe a couple of weeks or months later, we'd get the logo, we'd get the official name. Then we'd get like a trailer a little bit later on that dove into more details and potentially even a release date. But it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. And I really, really hope that the first time we actually see footage of GTA 6 is not in 2023. That would be so depressing. And in fact... I hope we get something else this year. Now, industry insiders and experts have predicted that in the month of May this year, when Take-Two Interactive has their earnings call and outlines their future pipeline, that we'll end up seeing some sort of mention about GTA 6 and might even get more details there. I certainly hope that that's the case. But man, if we're not to get a trailer, that is ultra depressing. And one of the things I've actually been doing recently is I've been going back and watching a lot of the old Grand Theft Auto trailers. So Rockstar has a lot of them on their own YouTube channel page, but you can certainly find them online. Go back and watch all the GTA 5 ones. The one from Grand Theft Auto 4, those were incredibly dark and gritty, but still get you very excited. You had the ones from Vice City and San Andreas and GTA 3. Go watch them and sort of bring yourself back to the time in which you first saw them. I remember the GTA 5 one for the very first time. I was like, holy smokes, is that Tommy Versetti? I was like wowed at the game and I was like, oh my gosh, are we going back to Los Santos? I remember when I first saw the GTA 4 ones, I was like, holy smokes, this is going to be a dark game and that this is going to be, you know, really interesting the story following Nico Bellic. And another thing I like doing is listening to the music of the trailers that Rockstar ends up choosing. And I also saw this interesting thread on the GTA forum site. It was guess the GTA 6 trailer song thread. And essentially the user who started it said, the name of the game is simple. Predict the song used in the first trailer for GTA 6. And he ended up setting up a couple of rules. You can nominate up to three songs. You can't predict blinding lights by the weekend and then don't post a billion songs and then edit your predictions. So I'd actually like for you guys to try that in those comments down below. What do you think the song of the very first GTA 6 trailer is going to be? And if I had to give you guys a recommendation, try not to pick the most popular song of right now. 
usually it's a song that is going to be licensed in the game. And so sometimes that doesn't necessarily mean it's the most popular right now in the world. It might be one that you might not necessarily think of. And that's why I told you to go back and listen to some of those trailers because it's going to be completely different based on how Rockstar sets up the story of the game. If it's more fun and upbeat like GTA 5, it's going to be a more fun and upbeat song. Vice City was the 80s, so it was obviously going to be a, a fun, wild, wacky song. GTA 4, more serious, so it was a more serious song. You guys get the idea here. You can let me know what, again, you think in those comments down below. It also makes you wonder how long the first trailer is going to be. If I was a betting man, I would say probably a minute long. That seems to be the route that Rockstar usually goes, but 30 seconds might be the first for like a teaser trailer. You never know. For Grand Theft Auto Online updates, they've done 15 second trailers, 30 second trailers. They've done a minute and 30 second trailers. So how long do you think the entire trailer is gonna be? You can definitely, again, let me know what you think in those comments down below. Now, I don't think the trailer is just going to randomly appear like out of nowhere. I think Rockstar will make an announcement for it. They did that with GTA 5. After Grand Theft Auto 5's official confirmation, Rockstar ended up announcing like a date and a time in which the very first trailer was going to come out. And they even did that for Red Dead Redemption 2. Remember when they, you know, teased those images on social media and then a couple of days later, it officially formed the Red Dead Redemption 2 logo. And then after that, they announced, you know, the trailer was going to be coming Thursday, 10 a.m. Sometime, I don't remember exactly when it was, but they officially announced when the trailer was going to happen. And I think every other trailer that happens after that, they usually announce it as well, whether it be gameplay or cinematic. They usually say, okay, coming tomorrow, you're going to get more trailer details or coming tomorrow, you're going to get an exclusive first look at X, Y, and Z. That's usually what they do. It's what they've done for Red Dead Redemption 2 in GTA 5. So I would expect the same thing here. And why we haven't seen it so far is because what Rockstar did, I guess you could officially call it the announcement, but because it's not like, here's the title of the game and here's us officially talking about it. It was more just like a, to calm everyone's nerves, the game is in development, it's gonna be happening and we'll get more information soon. Now, hopefully that isn't like a rock star-ism soon where soon turns into again like 2023 because believe it or not, it's already April. This year is creeping along so fast. So it would be unfortunate if we went basically the next seven or eight months with no GTA 6 information. I don't see Rockstar doing that because it's not really an action-packed year as far as GTA Online updates, and certainly it doesn't look like they're doing a lot with Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online. So it would be the perfect opportunity to talk about that and maybe give us a trailer that fans have all been waiting for. But like I said, I'd love to hear for you guys in those comments down below on everything we discussed in this video today. When do you think the trailer is going to be coming out? And what song do you believe it's going to be? And how long do you think it'll be as well? You guys can let me know what you think in those comments down below. Or you can reach out to me on my Facebook page where you can send photos, videos, messages, and a whole lot more. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.